Is it cruel to flirt with another man in front of my husband purposefully? Tom and I have been together for eight years, married for two months. He is handsome, funny, quirky and a wonderful conversationalist. Just perfect for me really. We go dancing, jogging, visit galleries and cook together. He is so sensual and loving, it's astounding and there's never a dull moment with him. I'm fond of his mom and he has welcomed my folks as his own family too. We rarely argue most of the time, except on one topic. Tom had a close friend who on multiple occasions he's described as his best friend, let's call her Julia. Originally Tom tried to ask her out years ago, before he met me, but she turned him down. They bonded over work. They had back and forth that seemed impenetrable, as whenever I tried to join in, Julia would give me these droll, blank stares. She was somewhat flirtatious with Tom, stroking his bicep when he flexed it, suggesting they should work out together. She also made somewhat insensitive comments that have really upset me. Whenever I tried to bring this up Tom hand waved at his banter that I was overthinking, insisting that it was in good faith but I was never so sure. I tried to chat to Julia one day when Tom left the room and she just muttered I hate small talk and started screaming scrolling on her phone. Another time I was talking to her, she just muttered him hum throughout the entire conversation in a very bored tone and demonstratively yawned. The final straw was when she escalated her behavior from immature jabs to a prank that was primarily done to humiliate me. It didn't physically hurt, but it was emotionally devastating in a way that caused so much hassle that me and Tom had to go to marriage counseling for it. He also more or less stopped talking to Julia because of it. At first he was really defensive and kept claiming Julia's behavior is primarily just edginess that I'm misconstruing as having more sinister intentions, but the marriage counseling has pointed out that his repeated invalidation has weighed on our marriage and its impact will take a while to be lifted, and that the primary way to heave that weight will be to trust my impressions if I believe that something is up. After a particularly heated counseling session, he was agreeing with a lot of the talking points our counselor was making, but he was still insistent that Julia had no feelings for him. I said that given her past behavior, it's very likely she holds some sort of torch for him regardless of whether she admits to it or not. He told me that I was reading too much into it and I was absolutely livid. It was as though he learned nothing from our session. To put it across to him more aggressively, I waved over a stranger in fitness gear, complimenting his muscles. I asked him where he worked out and when he answered, I told him we could meet up and work out together one day with a wink. When he left, Tom was enraged and demanding that I explain myself but I told him that the explanation was right there in my behavior. He was furious, understandably so, but it was the only way he could understand the severity of my pain, to experience it himself. He then shouted that what I did was specifically done to flirt whereas Julia was likely not intending that at all. I called bullshit, stating that it's the exact same thing, regardless of intention, if I'm perfectly honest, it frustrates me that even to this point he's still defending her months down the line. Am I being the asshole here? 